let's see how to connect the printer and how to prepare a file for install 12 inch two head machine before starting before beginning you have to have AT tool installed you have to have uh, main top installed now first go to uh, the port settings and go to ethernet settings here I am doing it through ultra viewer so it might take some time All right. So here you can see it is showing it is not connected. First, connect and switch on the printer. All right. Make sure printer has to be connected with the LAN port directly. All right. Now you can see here are three Ethernet ports. One is for internet, which is already connected, and this one is probably the machine connection. You can check whether this is the same connection or not by just removing the plug and plugging it back again. Okay, I'll go to the properties and I'll change the IPv4 version. I'll just check and here you have to use, okay, you have to apply the IP address 196.12. Zero dot one double eight. Okay, this is an IP address for this printer. Note this is not same for every different machine. Okay, I'll save it and I'll close it. Now you have to open the A tool. Once you open the A tool and click on connect, the printer will try to connect with the port. If it is not connecting, we will have to change the uh, settings. Right now it is connected, so we don't have to change it. Even if you have to change it, you can change it from here. Go to setup and IP settings. Here you can change the IP settings. Whenever board is connected, printer automatically takes all the parameters that were previously saved in the uh, board so you don't have to redo it again so just take a screenshot of all these uh, things and this is how you can connect the printer now let's see how to design a file i'll close it now let's let's do it on for coral draw first we generally use uh, coral draw to design artworks so i'll show you why i do why do i use coral draw It's easy actually, we don't use Photoshop more, we are not designers, but for alignment purpose and making a file, we use Photoshop or sorry, Corero. All right, we will take this image, PNG image on this. Make sure this size, the actual image size right now is, it is showing 279 uh, mm. But if you see this, this is the actual image size. This is only 177. So what you have to do, you have to remove this uh, unnecessary background. Just click here, select curves and remove the additional area. What I'll be doing, I'll be taking a size in inches now. It's a 12 inch uh, printer, so I'll be pr printing 11 inch wide. All right, you can club these designs together. If you have multiple designs, you can import multiple designs and fix all those designs in a single file. So I'll just multiply it. And I'll just repeat the artwork. Okay, just to save the space, I'm doing this. Generally, we do uh, mirror here only. I mirror it first. Now I'll export it, Control E. Right now I'm doing it on desktop.
coral teeth selected only i'll export it save as transparency always make sure to maintain the size so that whatever output you are exporting will be exported in the same size actual size now it okay now let's open photoshop in photoshop we will be creating a because i have white background there i'll just add a background first i will check whether this image or was i'll shift paste down okay the image is stiff only no no but in photoshop it is showing all right i'll just press control no it is not exported properly let's export it once again export let's first export this to png because i'm trying to export it in uh, tiff it is not giving me a transparent output this happens with the pirated software so i've seen this in transformation maintain size all right now we have the transparent background i have saved it now open this in photoshop png coral right now now it is correct now in photoshop what you have to do click on select first make sure that uh, the mode is cmyk this is very important mode has to be cmyk now i have hit control and i will hit in the center of this image now this will select only the image area now we have to contract it so that the white layer will be inside the image and it will not go out okay so go to select i have already selected the image now go to select option here the internet is not working properly modify contract so you can contract it, it by one or two right now i'll contract it by one if the png quality is not good you can do it by three or four also so we have contracted the image now we will be creating a spot channel for it go to channels here you can add new spot channel with the name w1 w has to be capital so w1 is our spot channel and the solidity has to be 100% so okay now we can save the image control shift s don't make any any changes here so this is our photoshop file you can rename it however you want i saved it now open mentop and import this image in mentop is really so very slow it is here you can find mentop so okay maximum compatibility dongle mentop dongle has to be inserted always go to file and go to import picture 
I have kept it on desktop. You can create a separate folder for the same. My file was with the name Photoshop file. If you click on preview here, okay, just let, let's just open it. I'll just make sure whether I have exported as PNG or not, or TIFF or not. Oh, sorry, it has to be TIFF. So we have to export TIFF file. All right, save transparency. Okay. Let it finish the export. After that, you can import it in import picture and Photoshop tip. You okay. can. So once you click on preview, you have to get a preview like this. Okay, auto picture, auto set to picture size. Now we have imported the file. Hit Control P, properties, auto paper set. You can set this lightness or brightness however you want. If you want to save it to default, you can say straight away. I'm just canceling it. In printer setup, if you set it up here, printer setup, file, printer setup, if you set it up here in properties, if you set, uh, say for example, 1.89, make sure this spot color you can keep it at 1 also, just keep it 1. You can increase or decrease the white density here. Okay, right now I have set it in the default settings and I have pressed OK and set as default. You don't have to do it again and again. I'm just showing you how to set it a default. Now, if I click on Control P, I go to properties. You can see here the default values have already come. So click just double click on auto paper set. Don't change, don't make change, any changes in the file. Here, if you need a better output, you can try changing the pass. Whatever pass resolution you are keeping here, you have to change the pass here. So if you change it to <clears throat> 720 by 1440, here you get a profile for the same. Okay, so it is 8 pass, so we have to change it to 8 pass. Right now I'll keep it at this. Okay, auto paper set. Okay, now print to file. Again, I'm saving it on desktop. P or PRN. PRN is print ready file, print ready network. You have to wait till this uh, process is done. Then you can add the file in the A tool. Now go to A tool. Uh, printer is already connected. Once we hit on connect, if this is uh, showing like this, if it is not highlighted or it is not clickable, then printer is not connected. Right now the printer is connected. We'll just delete all these files. Okay. We'll add our new file. So we have put it on desktop. Desktop must be somewhere here. desktop okay our file name was prn file just double click on this file okay now go to print the file is here you can just check 
and you just have to hit on print right click and add task or you can straight away hit on start always make sure to check the size right from here you have to check the size always group and then export so that you will get a proper size this is how you can uh, create a file and start with the printing thank you